and welcome to another spooky Halloween story time. I'm Flyleaf the Book Witch and today in preparation for Halloween we are going to take a trip to The Monster Museum. Written by Marilyn Singer and illustrated once again our third book this year by Gris Grimley. He's very good at drawing monsters. Monster Museum. Welcome, brave souls, to the Monster Museum. We've got werewolves and mummies. You really must see them. And zombies that dance from a big mausoleum. We've got spirits and spooks that gibber and groan. And a bad-tempered giant who's just here on loan. And a cat with sharp fangs who is rather well-known. There's a cool cockatrice that's completely obscure. You can read all the facts in this lovely brochure. Plus some creepy surprises of that, I am sure. So come along, children, and let's start the tour. Count Dracula. When it comes to monsters having class, Count Dracula is the winner. He had style and he had grace. Not a hair was out of place. He, and he dressed up nicely every night for dinner. And what did he have for dinner? The werewolf. If you meet a werewolf late at night, do not invite him for a bite. Do not question him of his relation to a poodle or Dalmatian. Don't ask him what he does for fun. If you meet a werewolf, scream, and then run. The zombie. Have you seen a zombie samba? Have you seen it bunny hop? Have you seen it do a polka? Or that old dance called the slop? Have you seen a zombie hustle? Would it tap dance while you gawk? Uh-uh, all a zombie ever does is do the zombie walk. Do you know how to do the zombie walk? Hold your arms out and you shuffle around real slow like, and you go, whoa. Can you do the zombie walk? Well done, very nice. Man eating plants. Man eating plants, man eating plants. Look out, they're coming to get us. Man eating plants, man eating plants. Watch out, they look just like lettuce. Man eating plants. Man-eating plants, good grief, they're coming in dozens! Man-eating plants, man-eating plants, they're mad because we munched on their cousins. Man-eating plants, man-eating plants, they'll take out your brains and your will. Man-eating plants, man-eating plants, your veins will run with chlorophyll. That's what makes plants green. You better not wait until it's too late. Leave town while you still have the chance. Leave your tractor and tiller, but take your weed killer. Because here come those man-eating plants. <sighs> the mummy. The mummy's snapped. She's come unwrapped. She's making quite a fuss. Because someone knocked on, someone rocked on her sarcophagus. She lays a curse in ringing verse by set and by Osiris. May your driveway freeze up, your engine seize up, your computer get a virus. The raider sighs, he moans, he cries, he begs her to be fair. Take my car and my scooter, but don't wreck my computer, for I must play solitaire. The raider repents, the mummy relents, okay, I'll release you from blame. The raider blinks, the mummy winks. But you'll have to teach me that game. Amid the gloom of that dark tomb, the poor guy will be staying. He's sealed his fate, he'll have to wait until she gives up playing. Frankenstein's monster. They gave me some bolts, they gave me some jolts, they gave me a great deal of fame. They gave me a bride and even some pride, but they never did give me a name. I'm called Frankenstein, but it's his name, not mine, and the two of us aren't the same. I'd rather be Bud, or Wolfgang, or Spud, or something not nearly so lame. As the handle that stuck, what a bad piece of luck, and all of you folks are to blame. No wonder I'm cranky. Stop calling me Frankie. Won't somebody give me a name? What would you call Frankenstein's monster? I like it. I like it. Uh-oh. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Dr. Jekyll says, I'm an even-tempered gent. Mr. Hyde says, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Though perhaps a 
trifle bent. You are a rat! You are a rat! All day long I never shirk. All night long I'm wide awake! From my scientific work. Looking for more laws to break. When our little chat is through. Cut the talk! Cut the talk! I'll imbibe my latest brew. Time to stop! Time to stop! Then I think you'll cease to heckle. Come and take a stroll outside. Yours sincerely, Dr. Jekyll. In the dark with Mr. Hyde. Thanks, Mr. Googly Eyes. You're welcome. Happy Halloween, everybody. Blah, blah. What kind of job would you offer the blob? Not butcher nor baker nor cook. He can't wear an apron, he'd swallow a patron, he'd cover the counter with gook. What kind of vocation would you give this creation, not pilot nor plumber nor clerk? He can't fly a plane, he'd slide down the drain, he'd plop on a shelf or just lurk. What kind of a job would you offer the blob and who would be willing to hire him? Be it teacher or cop, he's certain to flop, but then who would be willing to fire him? King Kong. He looks very kind. Alas, King Kong. He sealed his fate when he climbed up the Empire State. Oh, why'd he try this great escape? Because they called him a monkey. And he was an ape. It's true, you can tell. Monkeys, tails. Apes, no tails. The Gremlin. Don't get a gremlin for a pet. It has no sense of etiquette. A pudding it will swallow whole and then proceed to eat the ball. Don't get a gremlin for a pet. It will invade your TV set. Put polka dots upon the screen and turn folks' faces blue or green. Don't get a gremlin for a pet. It's guaranteed to bite the vet. So please avoid a big mistake. Get something nicer, like a snake. The ogre, the troll. They're two of a kind, the ogre, the troll. The one is so large and one is so elfish. They share the same thoughts. They have the same goal to act really mean and totally selfish. They're two of a kind, the ogre, the troll. The one keeps a castle and one blocks a bridge. They'll get in your face. They'll charge you a toll. Your money, your life, or the stuff in your fridge. They're two of a kind, the ogre, the troll. The one likes to slap folks and one likes to kick them. They're the dumbest of dumb, dumb and we've taken a pole. So a goat or a yokel could certainly lick them. The giant. Acting defiant to a furious giant is really a delicate issue. For he's far from petite. He's got very big feet and he might be inclined just to uh, squish you. Don't do it. Bigfoot. More big feet. Can you picture Bigfoot's wedding? Ice cream cake and lots of sledding. Every single guest is shedding on this awesome day. Such a shaggy groom and bride, 10 feet tall and 4 feet wide, howling while the knot is tied on this awesome day. Hearts are light and palms are sweaty, tossing snowballs like confetti when Mr. Mary's Mrs. Yeti. What an awesome day. Medusa. You want to be a millionaire? Have gold and jewels beyond compare? I'll give you wealth, can't promise health, if you dare to do my hair. Lately I have such a whim to get a perm or just a trim. An antique Greek can still look chic, a bit more prim but far less grim. My ends will never split or break, my scalp won't shed or a single flick. There's just one condition to my to be my beautician. Have you got what it takes to put curlers on snakes? I do not. Do you? The cockatrice and go. Those mixed up beasts from ancient Greece, the shimmer of the co the shimmer of the cockatrice, the gorgon and the griffin too, each one of them's a traveling zoo. Head of lion, wings of eagle, is that part snake or is it beagle? Which one's breath is bound to grill you? Which one's looks are sure to kill you? Keep them straight and you're a hero. Hesitate and zap, you're zero. Unicorn.
A lizard with wings is a horror. A stallion with wings is a butte. A snake with a horn is a nightmare. A mare with a horn is just cute. When we're speaking of things that are scary, let's consider the equine clan cursed. It's reptiles that make the best monsters and horses the absolute worst. Poltergeist. If your sofa's shaking, if your toilet's quaking, if your china's flying, if your walls are sighing, if your dog gets banished, if your homework's vanished, if you hear piano playing, listen pal, it's time for praying. Cause your new unwanted border thrives on chaos and disorder, stuff to fling and stuff to heist. Hurry up and get ghost busted or I promise you'll get dusted by that ghost known coast to coast as a pesky poltergeist. Good luck with that one. Ghost! My brother is a poltergeist, my sister is a bogey, my mother is a revenant, my father's an old fogey, and I am just a little ghost. My pals all call me Bantam. I'm hoping to grow long and tall and change my name to Phantom. Banshee. Tis a shame that I left Ireland. Tis a crime I left the farm. How folks quailed there when I wailed there, warning them of harm. Tis a shame that I left Ireland, tis a crime this urban sprawl. With the honking and the blaring and the whining and the swearing, not a soul hears a banshee at all. Bid farewell, brave souls, to the monster museum. Our creatures are grand, don't you wish you could be them? And maybe today you've got magic to free them. What happens with monsters will always depend on how much you know and just what you pretend. Be kind and you'll find you'll have one for a friend. Thank you for coming with me to the Monster Museum. And we'll be talking about some more monsters and ghosts and go ghosts and ghouls. Blah! My tongue got twisted from all that rhyming. We'll be talking about more Halloween spooks over the next couple days.